Hey, what is up guys? Code with Berg back with another Swift UI tutorial. And in this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this audio player app that lets you play, pause, and skip to the next song. Okay, so I created a new Xcode project. And the first thing that we need to do is to create our color extension so that we can use this custom color scheme. So we're gonna say file new and we want a Swift file and we're going to name this extensions. And we're just going to replace foundation with Swift UI, create our extension. And I'm just going to skip through the rest of this. Uh, if you guys want to use the same colors as me, you can follow through with this part. Uh, just pause it at the end and you can copy everything down. Uh, I did explain this in my last video, so if you want, I'll leave a link in the description below and you can check that out. Okay, so now that that's done, we can jump back into the content view. And just under uh, import Swift UI, we want to import our AV kit so that we can create our audio player. And inside of this content view, the first thing we want to do is create a state variable named audio player, which is an AV audio player. And then I'm just going to replace this hello world text with the title label that I want for the app. So we'll just say music player. And I'm just going to throw this into an H stack for now. And I'm just going to open up the canvas and see where we're at. This wasn't working earlier, so hopefully it works this time. Yeah, and it's still not working, so. Actually, I just need to change this as well to a V stack. And we'll just run this using simulator since this isn't working. So we'll hit run. And now we have our title label here. So we'll jump back into the content view and we're just going to make some font changes here. So we'll say dot font and we'll create a system font with a size of 45. And I also want to change the font weight to bold. And then we want to change our foreground color to our dot button color that we created in the extensions file. And we'll run that just to see how this looks. And there we go. So we'll go back into content view. And I'm just also going to throw this into an H stack. And now we want to create another H stack that will hold the three buttons that we're going to create. So we'll say button, which will have an action. And we want this to self.audioplayer.play. And we want to give this a label. And for this, I'm just going to use an image with a system name of play.circle.fill. And you're going to want to make this resizable. And then we'll set our frame to a width of 50 and a height of 50. We can set the aspect ratio to content mode dot fit. And we want our foreground color to be our button color. So let's run that. Okay, so now we have our label and our play button. So now go back into content view and we're gonna import the three songs that I need for this app. Uh, I just renamed them to song one, song two, and song three. Uh, make sure they're all of type MP3 and we'll just drag those in. These can be any MP3 files. 
So next what I want to do, I also want to set our background color for the application. So we're going to create a Z stack here. And we're just going to make sure every uh, our V stack and our two H stacks are both inside of there. So we'll close that off. And I'm just going to highlight this and hit Command I to fix the indentation. So now just inside the Z stack, we can say color dot background color. And we want the edges ignoring safe area to be set to all. So let's just run that and see how it looks. And that looks a little darker than I thought it was going to be. Let me just jump back into the extensions file. And yeah, this blue value has to be set to 33. Okay. So now we want this audio player to be created when the view appears. So we can say on appear. And inside of here, we want to say let sound equal bundle.main.path. And we can just use autocomplete here. And our for resource, we're going to set initially to song one. That's our first song here. And it's of type MP3. So in quotations, we'll say MP3. And now we need to initialize this. So we will say self dot audio player equals try AV audio player contents of and we want to say a URL and then file URL with path and we want to pass in the sound that we created. We'll just force that to unwrap. So this sound is the sound that we created up here. And we have our play button, so now we should be able to build this out and everything should work so far. So let's just hit run. And if we hit the play button, the song should play. But that's all that we can do right now. So we'll jump back into content view. And now we'll create our pause button. So we'll just copy this button and paste it right below. And all we have to change here is from play to pause and our system name from play to pause. And now if we run that, we should be able to play and pause our song. So now we need a button that will switch us from song one to song two and then to song three. And then when we get to three, if we hit the next button again, we want to jump back to the first song. So we're going to copy this button here. And once again, we'll paste it right below. And the code that we created when the view appears here, we're going to copy that and paste it. So now we need to pass in some kind of a variable that will let us go from song one to song two and then song three and then jump back to the beginning. So we're just going to pass in a variable and we'll call it count. And since we haven't created this yet, we can go back up to the top. And right below the audio player, we can create another state var called count and we'll initially set it to one. And we also need to change this to self.count. So now we need to check where we are in the count variable and be able to change that each time we hit the button. So we can say if self.count is less than three, because we have a total of three songs here, then we want to self.count plus equals one. So we want to add one to this. And then of course, when it hits three, we want it to go back to one. So the first part of this won't be caught and we'll say else. We will set our self.count back to one. So let's try that out. Okay, so we should be able to play 
And right now this is set to our other pause button, so if you hit that, it will go to the next song, but you do have to hit the play button again. So we want to set this up so that this plays automatically. So go back to the content view, and right underneath here, we just need to set our audio player to play. And if we run that again, now everything should work. So we'll hit play, and when we jump to the next song, it'll play automatically. So now we need to change this pause button here to our next song button. So we'll jump back into content view and just change this to our forward.end button. And we'll change the width to 45 and the height to 45. Now if we hit run, there we go. So these are also a little bit close together, so I'm just going to add some space in between them. And to do this, we'll just go above the first button here, and we'll say spacer. And then we'll copy that and paste it after each button. And this will work really well because it's all inside of an H stack. And now if we hit run, that looks a lot better. And everything works the way it should. So that wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and if you found this video helpful, then be sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.